Noelle here with a full body mat Pilates. So all you need is your mat and we'll get started. So we're gonna go ahead and stand at the top of our mat. Arms come out in front. We're gonna take our step back, walk it in. Step back, walk right back in. So coming down to your lunge. A little bit of a backwards lunge here. So we wanna treat this like our footwork in mat Pilates. So toe, ball of the foot, heels gonna stay lifted. If this is too much, bring your hands to your hips. We got one more on each. Last one. Go ahead and bring it right back in. Arms come out in front. We're gonna lift up one heel, lift up the other heel. Lowering down one heel and then the other. Tapping the heel to the ground every time. If you're progressing, we're adding with those arms. We're pressing and reaching. A little oppositional energy. Abs are engaged. We got our Pilates breathing going on. So we're inhaling, filling up the rib cage with air. On the exhale, cinch the waist, belly buttons is fine. No arching, no tucking. You got these. Last one on each. And now hold. Arms go out in front and you're gonna hold. Press them down an inch, up an inch. Down one, up one. Soften up in the knees a little bit so you're still working your legs. Staying your neutral spine so we're not arching, we're not tucking. Really small isometric movement. So just making the hands of the arms a little bit more tired here. You got these. Then next one, hold still, soften the knees a little bit more. Press that elbow out. Reach and lengthen again. Press the elbow. So our elbow's coming right in, we're like a high row from our reformer arms. So that hand should come right around underarm and elbow goes wide without the shoulder hiking up. So breathing through these, you're just alternating. Yep, your limbs are your weights here. Our goal here for our whole warm up is we're not gonna put our hands down. We're gonna keep them working, lifting. Arms are out in front, straighten out the legs. Take a step out to the side, bring it right back in. Step out to the side, bring it right back in. Give me four more on this side. Three. Two. Use the breath. Last one, hold here. So hold it out, you're in a deep lunge. Tiny little presses for four, three, two, last one. Rise up, keep those arms out. We're gonna go ahead and you guys are just going to the other side but I wanna face the camera and have a little more room. Step out, bring it right back in. Step out, keep those arms reaching, lengthening. Inhale, exhales. You got these. Give me four more here. Really using those abdominals to get back into your center. Arms are long and strong. Your last one here, we hold it out there. We have tiny little presses. Press for four, three, two, last one, step it in. So arms are still out in front, you have them put them down. Lift up one knee, lift up the other. Lift up one. Lift up the other. Try to not lean your migrate. You got these. Lifting up one leg and then the other. Breathe through them. Point through toes. Get like the legs. Elbows go wide. Chest is open. You're still with the same move. You can even do knuckles towards each other if you don't like the fingertips or one on top of the other. You got these. Can you lift your knees higher? Go even slower. Feeling every bit of it. You got this. Try to avoid leaning or migrating. Lift and lower. Last one. And now from here, arms go back out in front. Come down. Lift right back up. Get into that seat like you're trying to take a seat in a chair. Press those hips back. Use the abdominals. We're lowering and lifting with that control. Breathe through these. You're lowering and lifting. We got five more here. Four. 
Three, are your arms getting tired? Mine are too. Breathe. Last two, take that steep squat. Final one, pull those arms out. Pull those arms out. You're gonna take that right leg out in front. Try not lean back or lean forward. Lift the right leg up, tiny isometric circles. Arms are still reaching and lengthening. We haven't dropped our arms yet. Arms might be sh shaking. That's our goal. Reverse that direction. Push the shoulders down away from the ears. Bring those shoulder blades closer together. Open up between the collarbones. Proud chest, you got these. Reverse that circle. Take it the other direction. Inhale one, exhale the next. I know, it's bringing that heat for that upper body. Getting super tired. You got these though. Last three, last two. Final one, are your arms shaking? They don't get to come down, keep them up there. Heavy tailbone, arms reach and lengthen. You're back at your circles. So pull those abdominals in. You're inhaling one circle, exhaling the next. You're not leaning, you're not migrating. Pelvis really quiet. So pull up the pelvic floor, cinch the waist, move from your center. Your abdominals are using, are moving this leg here. Reverse that direction. You got these, we're almost there. Almost there. Breathe through these. Reverse, so you were in that reverse. We're almost there. Last set for five, four, three, two, and now feet go down. Take those arms even higher. Reach, you got calf raises. Push the shoulders down in opposition. Lower and lift here. Lower and lift. You got these. Lower and lift for five, four, three, two, last one. Hold that high heel position, arms out to your T. Hold high heels, tiny circles. Push those shoulders down, abs are engaged. You got these. Small, isometric, reach and lengthen. Reverse that circle. So reversing, you got these. For four more, three, two. Keep your arms on the T. Take the right leg, step it back, bring that knee up. Step back, bring the knee up. You got these, stay with me. Five more, four, three, Two, final one. Pull those arms out there. I know, they're exhausted. Step back. Come up to that high knee position. Challenging our balance. If this is too much, take the deep lunge out of it and just step back. Instead of getting down low. I almost lost my balance there. Last two here. Final one. Go ahead and hug it in. Oh. That feels good. Run it out with your heels. Switch. Press down. Press down. Breathe through these. And now hands go down by your side here. We're going to go ahead and come to the floor. We're going to genie our arms so they're back up. Cross our legs. We're coming down body style. Once you get here, you stay here. Hold the cross of the legs. You're gonna go ahead, bring one elbow down, bring the other elbow down. So you're feeling this in the obliques, your modified version, heels are down. So notice my pelvis and my hips are not shifting or moving. So the whole goal behind this is you're staying in those obliques. You're using your abdominals. You're not using the lower body. So hips, pelvis, really quiet. And now, if you have the ankle over, you're gonna switch and switch the arms. So you're back at it, you're just kind of dropping down one elbow. Notice the change of the arms. Maybe the side's a little bit harder for you. Maybe you need to bring those heels back down. So always coming into that modified position if you need it. Maybe you're hinging back to a deeper flat back. 
You got these. Breathe, never holding that breath. And now undo those arms, so long and straight. As you're rolling down, see if you can take your arms to the width of your mat. It's gonna make it a little bit harder. Reach and lengthen. So arms come back, reach and lengthen. And now come into your abdominal curl with palms facing each other. Reach and lengthen, abs engage. Inhale through those on the exhale, you're coming up to that abdominal curl, a little break between the legs. If you're progressing here, you're gonna lift up one leg. So notice just my heels are down. So it's a little bit more of a balanced challenge. You're trying to avoid the knees rolling inward. It's really tough to stabilize in the pelvis while all limbs are coming up. You just have that one stable heel on the ground. That's your connection. So you really gotta stabilize that pelvis by pulling your abdominals in really deeply. The slower you go, the more control you'll have, but you'll also pick up resistance, making your limbs feel heavier. If you're not used to doing that, try and really incorporate that today in your practice and notice the difference when you move slow or when you move fast. And then we'll go ahead and stay back. Arms are back over the head. We're going to lift up in our hips. So lift, lift, lift to your knee, hip, shoulder height. And lower all the way back down. So ears and lower biceps, we're not going to let our hands melt completely to the ground. So they're reaching, lengthening, they're active. Pull the abdominals in. We're going to slowly lift right back up to the top. And slowly come right back down. So slow and controlled. The next one we're going to stay up there. So pull those abdominals in. We rise to the top. Press those knees together. Lower the hips. One. Press the knees together. Lower the hips. One. If this is too much, hands by your side. Press the knees. Lower hips. One. Make sure those abs are really engaged. We're lengthening out our thighs here. We're opening up in our hips. We're lengthening out those hip flexors. We're working our backside of the body. So, so much going on at one time, making it super effective here. The next one, stay up. Lift up the toes on one foot. Lift up the toes on the other foot. So just lifting up the toes, keep the heels connected. And press right back down. So feeling that toe, ball, heel melt right into the floor when you immediately get the full contact. And now we're moving to heel lifts. Heel lifts and heel lifts. Keep looking at your eyelashes. So look at your eyelashes. You got these. Keep those hips lifted. Abs are engaged. We're lifting up one heel and then the other. Slow and controlled. I know, I'm feeling these too. You got this. Go ahead, slowly come all the way back down. Once you come down, we're gonna surrender with our feet and butterfly, come into abdominal crunches. So you're gonna stretch, but we're still working. So stretching it out. Soles of the feet are together. We have this, what we call butterfly feet. You got these for five more. Four, three, two, final one, lower all the way back down. Hands by your side, lift the feet to a hover. So, so small that your feet, as low as you can get them to the ground, but they're in a hover. And now press the feet and knees together, press them apart. Press them together, press them apart. apart. So keep pulling those abs in. If you feel like you're pressing the belly out here, you're gonna go ahead and just bring the soles of the feet down and you do one leg at a time. So you'll just have to alternate, coordinate, and count here. But otherwise, you have the soles of the feet, they're off the ground, you're just pressing them out an inch in an inch. For three more, two, Last one, hug those knees into the chest. So let's get a really nice, big, low back stretch. 
By treating our knees, we're gonna let them pull them in, let them go out to the side, circle them around. So circling them around, pull the knees into the chest, and now go ahead and switch. So now they're out, and then they come in. So going out to the side first, and they come in towards the chest. You got these. Three, throw them. Last one. And now legs go straight up in the air. We're gonna come into some really big TikToks here. So elbows are wide, they're going behind our head, and we're gonna swing from side to side. So I normally like to do these where our hips have contact, go full time with the floor, and don't rise, but we're gonna go a little bit bigger. So that you have to fire up a little bit more in those obliques, and just uh, as big as you really wanna make it, as long as your abs, you can find your abs are still in control and you're not using your low back for movement here. The next one, you're gonna hold to the side and just separate here. So the one hip is off the floor, you're opening and closing here for five, four, three, two, final one, connect, roll to center, both hips down, and now we take it off to the other side. Same thing, open and close. You got these for five, four, three, two, Last one, come back into center. Legs are straight, abdominal curls. Pull the elbows in, so I usually like to go wide, but we're gonna pull them in. Keep the elbows in line with the shoulders, elbows in line with our wrists. Hard flex in the feet, curl it up, curl it up. Every time, you got four more in here. Three, two, Final one, hands go down. So hands go down, head goes down. Keep the legs as they are. See how my legs are shaking? So I'm keeping them parallel to the ceiling. Like I'm gonna lift the ceiling with them. You're pressing the knees, you're pressing the toes, you're pressing the heels together. You should definitely feel a nice big shake in the legs when doing these. Hard flex in the feet, heels press up to the ceiling. Fire up in those inner thighs. You got these for five more. Four, three, two, final one. We're gonna lift up, hold. So you're in your single leg stretch, but you're just isolating to one side. Crunches and crunch and crunch for five, four, three, two, one. Come to tabletop, let the head go back down so you have another great set. Press out on the other side, same thing. And curl, and curl. Pull those abs in, you got these. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, lower it down. Hands come behind the calf. You're holding here, now take the arms out in front. And crunch, and crunch. If this is too much, stick with your regular single leg stretch. You got these. For four, three, two, and let go. Leg comes up, head goes down, quick break. Scissor switch, and reach, and reach. Point the toes, get light in the legs, you got it. For five more. Four, three, two, final one. Bring that leg up, head goes down. We're gonna go ahead and sit on our hands, and we're gonna go ahead and lift up in our hips. So really small, make sure. So treating this like our bridge inversion, head doesn't move, okay? We're just lifting our hips. And now if you're using momentum like myself, try and barely, barely. So you're really firing up in those low abs. Really small, head doesn't move. So keep the gaze up at the ceiling. Don't look at the camera. Really small lift in the hips. You got these. Breathe through them. Inhale through the nose, exhale them out. And now lower your legs, you're still sitting on those hands. Press out, press in. Too intense, you're in tabletop. Or you can also make this once the legs are a lot higher up. But otherwise, we'll finish out here. We got five, four, three, two, and slowly bring them right back up. Flex the lower, point to lift. Flex and lower, 
point to lift. Flex and lower, one circle. Flex and lower, one circle. You got these. Meet in center every time. Last two, use the breath, these are tough. Last one, and now reverse this. So go out, come up through center. Go out, come up through center. We got three more like this. You got these, two. Use the breath. Last one, go ahead and bring those knees in. Rock from side to side. Shake out that tension. Soles of the feet go down. We're coming into a little bit of our crisscross. So we're gonna go ahead and lift one leg up to tabletop and reach, and reach. So the other foot, you can do what else I'm doing. It's tapping, you're reaching, or you're staying, if you like, with that foot down to the floor. Give me three more here. Two. Last one. Let it go. Come all the way back down. So we got one more on the other side. We're going to lift up to that tabletop and we reach. And reach. You got these. Maybe you're bringing that hand back every time. Maybe you're just keeping the reach. You got these. Tap that toe to the ground. This is where we finish for four. Three, two, final one. Let it go. Bring those knees in. So we're going to try one more set like that, a little different variation. Leg comes to tabletop. Toe stays on the ground this time. Crunch up through center. Crunch up. Crunch up. Keep ankle and knee alignment. Elbows can be wide. Chest is open. We got these. Keep pulling those abs in. You got five more. Four, three, two, and let it go. Lower down, melt. We got the last one on the other side. So a little vari variation again. You're in that abdominal crunch. Tabletop one leg, just toe on the floor on the other leg. Elbows can be wide or elbows are curling inward. Your choice here. This is where we are finishing out, okay? We got five more. Four, three, two, and let it go. Reach, lengthen. Everything's long and straight here. Super long body. Stretch, reach, lengthen. So from here, we're going to go ahead and just reach over our head. Get a side body mermaid. So we're laying down. We're lengthening out. And now go ahead with the other hand, hold on to the wrist, get your side body stretch. You're just kind of slightly leaning over to that side. And now from here, we're going to rotate. We're going to come into our balance work. So side body balance, we're finding a long straight line. We're going to stack our toes, our heels. You'll notice as soon as you get in this position, you might be really wobbling. So it's super hard to do this without the hand out in front. So if you need to, go ahead and do it. But that's the whole goal of the exercise to show you all this instability we have of being on our side. So we're gonna go ahead and lower and lift that top leg. Pull those abdominals in. You got these. So this is just gonna be a warm up one. Pull those abs in. You got these for five, four, three, two. Last one, and now make a pillow for the head. Take your legs and lift and lower from here. So lift and lower. You got these. Lift and lower. And now lift and lower, scissor, scissor. Lower, lift, scissor, scissor. You're gonna lower down. Lift right back up. Balance here, scissor, scissor. Lower right back down. Lift right back up, scissor, Scissor, we lower all the way back down. So from here, we're going to go ahead, wrap the bottom of our nail around your side here, top hand. You got to press up into that hand. So you almost feel like you're doing a push up on one side. You got these. We got five more. Four, three, two, 
two. Final one, let it go. Calm down, make your pillow, side body, tabletop. Open up just to the knees, are separated, and we're going with our tabletop with our legs out in front instead of the hands. Yep. Pull those abs in. You got five more here. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Take the legs out in full extension here. You're in a capital letter L. Lift and lower. Lift and lower here. Abs are in. For five more. How slow can you make it? Four. Three. Two. And let it go. Rise up. We lift up to our mermaid. Reach, lengthen. Come in. Side body. Lift the legs. Push up. Reach and lengthen. Side body. Push up. Legs lift. Reach and lengthen. Breathe through these. We're lowering and lifting. Inhale, exhale. Last one here. And go ahead and rise up. We'll switch. So taking it off to the other side. Same thing. You got your long straight line. Arms are stacked. Abs engaged. Belly buttons up and in. You got your long straight line. And now we lift and lower that top leg. So inhale through the nose. Abs out the mouth. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. You're trying to not let the hips roll forward. You're not letting them roll backwards. You're strong in your center. You got these. Stay with me. Last three. Last two. Final one. And now we'll go ahead and make a pillow here. So we're going to lift our legs up and lower right back down. If you're progressing like the other side, we're going to continue to lift up Scissor, scissor, return, and lower. Lift, scissor, scissor, return, and lower. You got me. Stay with me. Scissor, scissor, return, and lower. Lift, scissor, scissor, return, and lower. You got these. We're almost there. Scissor, scissor, return, and lower. Last one. Lift. Scissor, scissor, return, and lower. So now we rock that bottom hand, and the top hand is the one that goes out and we press into it. So we got this one arm, like a push up, firing up in those triceps, but still working your side body here. So if you don't like a side crunch, these are hard. You got these though. Our last set for three, two, our final one, and we go ahead and let it go. So we're coming all the way down. We're going to come into our side body tabletop. Just open up where the knees separate, toes and heels are connected. We only open up as much as we can keep the toes and heels together. Pull those abs and fire up those inner thighs. Pull up the pelvic floor, cinch the waist. Last three. Last two. Final one. We go into extension. We hold it out here. We've got a long streamline like a capital letter L. We connect and now we lower and lift that top leg. Pull those abs in. Lower and lift. Inhale, exhale. Toe to toe, heel to heel. Almost there for four, three, two, and let it go. Surrender. Lift up. So we're going to go ahead and come into a little mermaid. Take it off to the other side. And then our next one is where we add it on. We got our mermaid to side body push up, legs lift up. Mermaid, side body push up. You're at those stacked knees. You got these. Mermaid, you got your side body push up. Breathe. We're almost there. Press through these. Last two. Our final one. Go ahead and counter stretch. We're going to come into center, going right into some cat pads here. So look for the belly button. 
Head up, chin up, chest up. Look for your belly button. Head up, chin up, chest up. Breathe through that. And now hold here. We're going to go ahead and lift. We come into our high plank. High plank. Press back through the heels. Press back. Press back. You got these for five, four, three, two, and knees down. Come down. Cat cow. Look for the belly button. Head up, chin up, chest up. Look for the belly button. Head up, chin up, chest up. Stay right there. We're going to take the right leg out. Bring that knee into the outside of the elbow. You got it. The outside of the elbow for five more. Four. Get the extension every time. Three. Point to toe. Get length of the leg. Two. Final one. Let it go. Bring it down. We've got the same thing off to the other side. So bring that knee into the outside of the elbow. Reach and lengthen. You got these for five, four, three, two, last one, let it go, surrender, you got a flip of the palm. So we're going to come onto our forearms next, so coming into our forearm plank. Knee, our, our elbows are down, knees are out. We're going to stay in our modified position. Pull those abdominals in. And now curl those toes, lift the knees. Bring the knees down, flatten the toes. Curl, lift, lower, flatten toes. So even in your modified position, it's pretty tough. Maybe you're staying here the whole time. Lift, lower, flatten. Curl, lift, lower, flatten, curl. Stay with me. We're almost there. Keep your head in line with the spine. Abs are really checked in here. They're working hard. You got it. Last one. Sit back. Let it go. Send the shoulder blades in opposition down your back. And then we're going to come back onto our forearms here. So coming into our forearms, we've got a little working position. So we're going to go ahead and hard flex in that foot. We're going to do a cross and lift. Cross over, hard flex and lift. Cross, we lift. Abs are in. Cross and lift. You got it. We're almost there. Last two. Final one. Keep the leg up. Extension. Take the toe out to the corner, back corner of your mat. That's where we're looking from. Stay in the back corner the whole time. Just the width of your mat. So that toe should be out in the wide far corner. We're working that glute knee here. You got these. And now lift even slower and smaller. Keep your head in line with the spine. Gaze is down. Last five, last four, final three, last two, and bring that in. Quick reset. So if you need to, take it to child's pose. And we set up for the other side. So we're going to hard flex. We're going to cross, tap the mat, lift right back up. So cross, tap the mat, lift right back up. Staying in your neutral spine, so we're not arching, we're not tucking, really active abdominals. Your abs are lifting this leg up, you got a hard flex. Breathe through that, I mean, you're strong, you got these. Strong core, abs engaged. We're treating this just like a plank, so make sure the belly's not dropping here. Those abs are up and in and active. Last one here, we stay up. Take the foot out to the corner, back corner of the mat. We lift and lower from there. So we never bring it in. We stay out in the corner the whole time. Keep pushing those shoulders down away from the ears. Stay strong. Abs are up. They're in. They're engaged. Keep breathing. Inhale through the nose. We exhale the mouth. Inhale, fill up the rib cage with air. Exhale, cinch the waist, belly onto the spine. This is where we finish out. 
This will be our last two here. Final one, you get to give it a break. Child's pose with one hand on top in the top corner. Send those shoulder blades in opposition down your back. Top hand comes to the other corner, and then you bring it right back on top. So coming right back, we're gonna go ahead and come into push-ups here. So our push-ups today are gonna to be balancing on our knees. So we're in this plank position. We don't wanna arch here, so heavy tailbone, bring your pelvis forward. And now, if you can, either point or flex, your choice, and come down, three, two, one. Press up, slow and controlled. Three, two, one. Press up, so we wanna go so slow, we keep those elbows into your side, you're gonna get a really big burn here. For three, two, one, press it up. How slow can you go? I'm feeling these, I know. Those arms are shaking, oh yeah. Full body workout, we haven't even used any equipment. We're making our body our own machine here. So that's what we're doing, using our own body weight for that resistance. And then go ahead and sit back, take your break. Coming into one more here. So we're gonna find our tabletop. We're not tucking, we're not arching, we're in neutral. Take the right arm straight back behind you. We're gonna press it up. Try and keep yourself situated center mat. We're not leaning, we're not migrating. Bring your hand to its highest point. Pressing up, you got these, last five, last four, final three, last two, let it go. So this whole sequence of being on your knees, you can attack it from standing if you want, even the push-ups, you can lean into the wall if you're watching this one again, or even this one, you can just do it standing, straight cross back. So this whole sequence here, even your push-ups, push-ups to the wall. So don't feel like you have to do any part of this kneeling part. You can always do kneeling standing. Straight press back. Gaze is down, head in line with the spine. Keep pressing out, maybe press even the fingertips together. You got these. Abs are in, you're not leaning. Last three, last two, final one, we surrender. Prayer hands behind the head. So we're gonna lift up to our proposal position here. So we got proposal, we're gonna hold here. We're gonna reach and lengthen, take those arms out in front. So reach and lengthen, bring one hand back, bring the other hand back. So we're gonna try and do it like our hand is coming right to the underarm and the elbow is going wide, chest is open. You're gonna reach and lengthen, press the fingertips together, or you can also make a fist almost as if you are pulling the ropes on the reformer here. So breathe through them. Gaze is out in front, chin parallel to the floor, heads in line, spine. So try to avoid leaning the head. The gaze goes out in front. So where your gaze is, that's really gonna be a good position for your head as well. So if you're looking down, your head's gonna go down, your chin's gonna go down. Keep your gaze right out in front. Eye length, eye level. You got these. And now arms are out in front. You're gonna go ahead, lower them an inch, lift them an inch. Well, really lengthening out that hip flexor here, getting a little bit of a stretch. And then, of course, we've got this balance challenge. Just like when we're on the moving reformer, it's a challenge because the reformer is going back and forth and you're pulling the ropes. Well, we're gonna move our hands so we have this balance challenge with the offset of our legs. For five more, four, Three, two, hands come down, they bring out our foot. Lift the back knee off the ground. You're gonna go ahead and lift that arm, same side where the foot is forward. Lift that arm, press up, press up. Come back at it for five, four, three, two. Bring the hand back down, 
spraying out the foot, you got a hamstring stretch pulled forward over that leg. Toes face to face. Pull down a little bit more. And then slide that leg through. Same thing on the other side. So we're going to set up here in our proposal position. We're in this high lunge. And then take those arms back up. They're up high. We're coming back at it. This time, we're going to go ahead and do both first just to kind of set us up. Make sure they're on the same plane, and then you're coming into those singles. So you're going to go ahead. Make sure you're not leaning or migrating. Feel free. You can cut the hands. You can reach and lengthen through the fingertips. Just notice if one side's a little more unstable than the other. That's okay. We all tend to have a weak side. We do these for a reason, to find that symmetry to get our body equal. That's how we keep ourselves injury free. Making the body stronger. It's a lot of balance work in this proposal position. It's one of my favorite for kneeling. And of course, if it's not okay, hold the same position, separate in the standing lunge, and get run through the whole same sequence. You'll still get all those benefits. We've got one more on each. You can also double up your mat here if you needed to for the protection of your knees or maybe a small pillow. And now you're going to press up an inch down inch. Up one, down one. Pull the abdominals in. Eye level. We're staring right out in front. We got these. Pull the abs in. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two. And bring the hands down. Lift that back knee, hold right here. You're going to go ahead and lift the hand of the forward leg, and you're going to go ahead and same thing. Press that hand back. Fire all the way up to those triceps again here today. You got these. Try to not lean or migrate for five, four, three, two, and bring the hand down, bring the knee down, straighten out that leg, hold over. Getting this nice big hamstring release. Slowly slide that leg through. And we're going to go ahead and come all the way down. So coming all the way down, arms reach, legs it out in front. We're going to go ahead and lift the right arm. You're going to lift your head as well off the floor here. The gaze is still down. Lift up one arm. To shoulder height, lift up the other arm. So you're really pressing the pelvis firmly into the mat to avoid leaning towards one side or the other. Believe it or not, there's a little bit of a balance challenge. So a lot stabilizing the pelvis here. You got these. One more on each. And now stack the palms. Stack the palms, lift the legs. Lift the legs. You're reaching towards the toes. And now press those heels, lower and lift, open. Press the heels, lower and lift, open. You got these, press down, open. Last two like this. Final one, we let it go. So we're going to go ahead and take it to a stretch. Bring your heel to your seat. Maybe bring that hand to the inside, rolling that shoulder open if that feels okay. Go ahead and release. Same stretch on the other side. Forehead. And then you can also roll that arm if you prefer. Get that big stretch. Nice thigh stretch. And now go ahead and let that foot go here. We're going to come into one more. So thumbs are reaching, lengthening. Head is up again. We're going to lift the opposite limbs. Hold. And tiny little pulses from here. You got these for five, four, three, two, last one. Bring the limbs down, relax. Pull the abdominals in, lift the opposite limbs on the other side we move to. And now we got those small range of motion again for five, four, three, two, last one. Bring everything back down. 
So we have one final one to go. We're going to cactus the arms, lift everything up from here. And now you're going to go ahead and reach and press back. Open and close the legs. You got these for four, three, two, final one, press up. We got child's pose. So I'm just going to check in with the camera, check on some time here. See how we're doing? Okay, we got the last five minutes. We're almost there, guys. Hang with me. Enjoy this nice child's pose. If you want to amp it up, you're going to take it to puppy pose. So that means our hips go up in the air. Nice big stretch. So those shoulder blades in that position. Down the back. And now from here, we're going to float out. We're going to come to a side body plank. So side plank. Pull those abs in, arms straight up in the air, you gotta leave. Leave that hand under, rise up, one dip down. Weave the hand under, rise up, one dip down. You got this. Weave the hand under, dip down. We got one last one to go here. Weave it under, slow, dip, lower. So lowering down, or gonna lay flat on our back here. So lay flat on our back. We're gonna hit one more round of abdominals here. You gotta push, you gotta pull. So traditional crisscross. Push, pull. If you can, hard flex in the feet. So leave with the heel, put some energy in the heel. You got your push, you got your pull. Stay with me. Push, pull for four, three, two. Last one on each. Go ahead and hug it in. So we're gonna come into a little bit of our teaser here. So teaser, we're gonna go ahead and sweep our arms around. So arms come around. We're gonna lift up to the top, hold here. And now give me some presses in. You got a little serve tray. You got these, stay for five, four, three, two, come to tabletop. Come to tabletop and hold. Press those heels down. Lift them right back up. Press those heels down. Stay with me. We're almost there. For five, four, three, two. Hold it up here. We're going to take a push. We're going to take a pull. If you can, stay here with the arms. Keep those elbows up behind lines the shoulders. You got these. Knocking out those abs for our last few minutes. For three, two. Last one, hang on to those ankles. Hold up the top, get super tall, and let go. Take it to your stretch here. So we're in this crisscross of our legs, using our elbows to open up, release tension. Just kind of letting it go. And then our head is going the other direction. So I just did it this way so I can face the camera. We're going to come back to that side body plank. Don't have one bottom knee stays down. When you're ready, we rise, we lift, and we're going to weave that hand under, lift up, dip down one. Weave the hand under, bring it right back up, dip down one. You got these. Stay strong at the top with me. Don't let those hips sag. Make sure they come right back up. You got these. Breathe. Don't hold that breath. Our final set. We dip down one last time and we surrender. Let it go. Roll to your back. So we're coming out to our back again one more time. We're hitting abs from this direction. So now we're going to do a little double leg stretch. Bring it forward. Bring it back. Go into that full extension here. You got these. Breathe. Press in. Press out. Last four, last three, final two, last one, soles of the feet down. We're going to finish with a hundred, I know. Rock, come up to the top, pump. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Progress and come to tabletop. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Still adding on, take it to your extension. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. If you need a modified version, come back to tabletop or come back to the feet down. Your choice. 
Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Just wherever you are, do something that you can stay in the hundred the whole time, even if the feet are down, even if you have to return the head back. 